Hi Capricorn, welcome to your weekly reading for April 22nd through the 28th. I'm going to be taking a look at your immediate past, present, future, pulling some advice for you as well as the outcome. This is general and may not resonate for everyone. If it does, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel as it helps me to pick up on your energy for all future reads. Please remember that time is fluid, so this could be something that happened in your past, currently in your present, or coming up in your future. And roles can be reversed, so take what applies to you the person on your mind, your situation, and leave the rest. At the end of your reading, I will be pulling an oracle message from the Sacred Traveler Oracle deck to give us some more insight, guidance, and clarification on your situation. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Show me Capricorn, please. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Um, I see a lot of choices needing to be made on certain things and, but you're working really hard. I love this. In the immediate past here, we have the three of wands. So waiting for something to change, waiting for something to show up here. We'll look at what that is in your current situation. We have the king of pentacles. I love this. So, you know, going from a waiting situation to a king of pentacles is telling me whatever you were waiting on the immediate past, you decided, you know what? I don't have time to wait. I need to take leadership over this. I'm being given an opportunity so I'm gonna go after it and I like that because in the immediate future we also have the six of wands and I love this for you uh, because that six of wands is saying like heck yeah you are victorious you know this is your time to shine you are the one who is taking center stage in your life fame fortune all of those things pouring into your life it looks so wonderful it is hard work so just be careful um, meaning that hey with this 10 of wands coming out as your advice, just remember that things um, can feel heavy, but if we put one foot in front of the other with this hard work, then we're going to see accomplishment and achievement. If things continue the way that they're going, like you waiting or something like that, just pay attention to your mental health because the nine of swords is telling me there's a lot of worry, stress, anxiety, uh, lack of sleep. Um, so it's kind of like needing to create a schedule or time blocks for yourself. Um, also with that King of Pentacles, you could be dealing with someone who, uh, is very successful and you're around them all the time. So it's making you motivated to be successful. Not that you're not, but you're really in your element. And I love that for you. Um, just working really hard. I see this like, yeah, I'm going to be diligent. What I do pays off. It looks amazing. Um, just don't overstress yourself. Make sure that you are taking care of, you know, your physical and mental health. Um, it's important. Get enough sleep. Make sure you eat. Make sure that you're drinking enough water, whatever the case may be. Um, I always say water because not everybody drinks coffee, tea, soda, things like that. Plus water is so important and vital to the body. So let's go ahead and clarify that three of wands in your immediate past. Yeah, you are really working hard here really working hard here and you were seeing a payoff in the immediate past so the three of wands is clarified by the king of swords the eight of pentacles and then the ten of wands as well as the ten of pentacles at the bottom of the deck so where you were waiting for these ships to come in you weren't just sitting around doing nothing you had a plan and you were being very diligent and working hard and it started to really pay off because that ten of pentacles is like whoa look at this you know you and your commitment is creating so much success all around you i feel like you even got up and got out like and you're, some of you, it's like, I had to get up and go physically, be out in the community to market, to make money, to this, to that, to the other. Um, but, you know, working really hard to, you know, build this legacy for yourself. Some of you are excited about retirement and it looks like you can retire early. That is so awesome. Let's clarify that King of Pentacles. Yeah. 
business is taking off, you're getting recognition. It feels like everything that you put your hard work in is paying off currently for you. Oh, I see everyone smiling. Those of you that are like, is it? Yeah, keep working hard because you are, ooh, yes, I love this. It's like you are showing yourself that I have exactly what it takes and your dedication and commitment is just astonishing okay so the three of pentacles the chariot and the king of cups here all right so everything working out financially feeling stable feeling good feeling like you have everything you could possibly want some of you wanting to retire travel you know pursue some dreams that you have and and take leadership here by like you know what my heart is fully in this um what you're creating for yourself also financially looks amazing and it's taking off so fast and it makes you feel so happy that this devil energy right here is telling me at the bottom of the deck that you are just so committed here you know it's like i i'm very strong <clears throat> it's very strong in your commitments towards achievement and um, don't lose your voice i don't have time for this i don't have time to lose my voice <laughs> so um and really in your element i mean you look so attractive and you know there's so much temptation around you as far as people like whoa capricorn who are you um let's go ahead and clarify this six of wands <clears throat> that's really important i'm glad that this comes out just as a, a reminder that even with all the success it's so important to take care of yourself because the Six of Wands is clarified by the Six of Cups, the Page of Swords, and then the Nine of Swords, as well as the Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So victory is yours just like it was in the past, okay? It's very nostalgic. And um, focusing on learning is wonderful. There's some things that are going to change where you have to continue to learn, you know, and but don't do it to the point where it causes you stress, anxiety, and you can't sleep. Um, because there's also something about uh, receiving even feels like criticism from someone or someone just being completely blunt about something that's like, why worry about it? You don't need to worry about that, Capricorn. Don't worry about that. Follow your heart. Trust your intuition that everything is going to be fine, even when there's small little hiccups. And, you know, overworking yourself to the point of exhaustion is never good. Don't worry about that. Everything is going to work itself out with your hard work and dedication. Um, let's go ahead and clarify that 10 of wands for your advice. This is a relationship very close to you. So the Ten of Wands is saying that uh, with the clarification of the Five of Swords, the Seven of Wands and the Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck is going to be the Ace of Wands. Now this could be, you know, um, you working really hard and then carrying around some conflict of, you know, should I do this? Should I not do this? Is this meant for me or not? But it really comes out that somebody close to you in a relationship is very negative and you've got to, even though you care about this person, you have to protect your energy from that negativity of those people and really focus on your desires. And, and it might not be so negative where they're like, oh, don't do that. Um, it comes off like, are you sure you want to do that? And then you second guess, guess yourself. Do not second guess yourself on this because, you know, what you are passionate about, what you desire, you are attracted attracting to you, um, conflict and that negativity by out the door. Um, don't carry that weight of that around focus on what's good. So let's go ahead and clarify that nine of swords for your outcome. What? Okay. Sorry. Let me scream in the microphone. Well, This is so amazing. I just, I know, y'all wish you could see my face. I'm just smiling for you because I love this so much. Oh my goodness. Okay, so the Nine of Swords, which you're like, oh, but it's about stress and stuff. No, 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 no. 
Nine of Swords is clarified by the World card, the Empress, and the King of Pentacles. That stress is going to dissipate and be over. You know, it's like tough times are going to be over. All your worries are going to close out. Abundance is going to pour into your life more, and you're going to see financial stability and all of that. When you've been going through like something tough of trying to get ahead, trying to get back up on, you know, a scale of like, this is where I was at in the past. I want this again. And also when you focus on, <clears throat> I'm going to say it like this, when you focus on, um, you know, things that you really enjoy in life, not just work. And I, I know you're dedicated to it, but like going out and taking a walk, or if you're a runner or jogger or whatever, or just getting some outdoor fresh air, that's going to help provide you that, uh, dopamine that you need where it is like, soaring through your body and you feel good. You're getting rid of the stress that way. It's bringing happiness into your life. And then you can go back to what you're doing and be like, you know what? I took a little bit of time out today for myself and it felt so good. And I'm ready to get back into, you know, excelling and achieving going forward. It feels so good. I love this for you. Capricorn, this is amazing. So that 10 of swords at the bottom of the deck right here is just saying, you know, um, th there's, an ending, a permanent ending to something, but it's to your worries. It's to your stresses. And the focus is going to shift into abundance, just pouring in and you going, what? what? <laughs> so yeah, keep working hard. Like you're doing, take care of yourself, take time out for yourself as well, because it's so important for you to take care of your physical and especially your mental well-being, okay? So fellow travelers, support is all around you. There's people around you that want to see you excel and achieve Capricorn. I like the rainbow in the background here because the rainbows speak of blessings and, you know, it only happens, rainbows don't happen every day. So when they show up, if you see a rainbow, that is a sign that things are going in the right direction for you. Keep going. Uh, maybe you see peacocks here or, you know, just, uh, I see a fruit tree. It looks like uh, oranges or something. Some of you could be eating oranges right now and feeling inspired. Um, so that's amazing. But those things are definitely significant too. When you're in doubt, you'll see these things or you'll have subliminal messages in some way. Pay attention to that because that's where you're going to get that, that extra boost of confidence, that extra boost of like, I can do this. So ascending the mountain, keep going forward. Don't stop. Okay. Don't stop. Don't doubt yourself. You got this. Keep moving forward. Even whenever challenges arise, they're just small little speed bumps. I don't see many of them, but it's like one that just kind of makes you worry. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You got this navigating by the stars, follow your bliss. So you're not going to see everything happening in front of you. Sometimes you got to let go of control and just, you know, f navigate by the stars in the dark, um, and follow your bliss. Where is your heart taking you? Where's your intuition taking you? So this is what I have for you. Capricorn loved your reading, loved it so much. If it resonates, hit that like button. I will see you in your next reading coming up. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.